Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jason Gaddy, and I've been seeing that a lot of LumaFusion users have had a hard time deleting their project files from the LumaFusion app. So let me show you how to completely do that because I see that people have tried to just delete the files directly from um, their picture folders and coming to find out that they really didn't free up as much space as they need, which can be terribly frustrating if you're trying to um, render out your next masterpiece and there's just not enough space and you're like ah this i mean am i gonna have to delete pictures and stuff of of my family and my kids to make this happen you know so let me show you how to fix this and um just follow along and i'll go slow so you can kind of keep up with me um so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh we'll just kind of set a baseline here um is go to settings and then in your settings screen, you'll see general on the left hand side. Go ahead and touch general. And then on the right hand side, right column, uh, four or five down, it'll say iPad storage. So go ahead and touch iPad storage. And this will give you a baseline of where you are. Um, and you'll see that in the red area, it shows all the uh, data that you have stored with your apps. So you go down and you'll see that the uh, number two app that I have that contains the most storage is LumaFusion. So go ahead and touch LumaFusion and you'll see that the app size itself is only 150 uh, megabytes, 150.6 to be exact. But between that and the document data, um, it's a lot more. You know, I've got 12.59 gigabytes, which this iPad only has 128 gigabytes. So that's a pretty good chunk of storage that I have in LumaFusion. So how do we fix that? All right, well, let's tap the home button. If you have one, if you don't, then go back to your main screen. And first thing first, let's go ahead and do what most people have already done. Go ahead and go into our files folder. And you'll see that I've already uh, re, 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 redone this video several times. So we're going to go ahead and just clean these guys out and I'm going to clean out um, just a few more videos just to make more space so we can see what differences we have. So let's go ahead and uh, delete those at which we hit the trash can delete 39 items. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay and then we'll go up to first things first is you need to go up to back to um, your settings and click back so you can see that really nothing has changed as far as your storage is gone even though you delete that but you'll see two uh, things down on the right hand side recently deleted items you need to go ahead and empty out your recently deleted items so let's go ahead and do that delete from this iPad Okay, so as you see on the top right hand side, it was just a little bit of space that was freed up. So, what are we going to do? Let's go back to the LumaFusion app and we'll open that up. Okay, so go to your projects file, which would be on your left hand side. It looks like the clipboard thing with the plus. And here's some of my things that I've done uh, in LumaFusion, my project files. All right, so we're going to go ahead and delete some of these guys out. So let's go ahead and you'll see on the bottom there's a thing that looks like a square trash can. Select which file you want to you want to choose by touching it and then touch the trash can. And it says delete this project and you'll go ahead and delete that project okay so let's do one more um let's do let's do the rain video that i did i don't know if you've seen this video this is davy 504's uh rain thing that he did so this is a project that i did but i don't need it anymore so let's go ahead and trash that one so it's selected because it's got the blue line around it go ahead and hit the trash can do you want to delete this project yes i do okay and it's gone um and i don't think i need that one anymore 
And you do have to do these one at a time. That's the unfortunate thing with uh, Luma is they don't let you select a bunch at a time. So we'll go ahead and delete that one. And I'm having such a good time at that. Let's go ahead and delete that one. And I don't need that anymore. So let's go ahead and delete that one. And this is the uh, outro video that I, that I did. Um, I don't really need this file anymore because it's already rendered. So let's go ahead and delete that one. Okay. So let's go back to our settings. And you'll see that there was some stuff that was moved around. Um, I've got a lot of music and stuff stored on here. Um, so the uh, mine didn't go down as much as your will. But once you delete all those files out, all your old projects, you'll see how much um, that your uh, storage will increase. So mine went down to 12.121 .12 gigabytes. But like I said, I've got a gang of, uh, of stuff in there that I've made and used and, and uh, keep in that file. So uh, mine won't go down as much as yours will. But the reason why yours hasn't um, decreased as far as storage goes is because you haven't uh, completely deleted um, your files off of your iPad. And you have not deleted your projects in luma so i hope that helps you get your uh, storage space back in your ipad please like the video please thumbs up uh and share the video if you know anybody has any problems uh doing this or you know with storage on their ipad it's really that simple um it's just it could be easier but you know apple decided not to make it uh so easy to get rid of everything permanently and uh, neither did uh, luma fusion so maybe one day Luma will let you include a bunch of different uh, projects at one time to erase. But right now, at least to my knowledge, there's no way to, to uh, remove a bunch of uh, projects at one time. You have to do it one at a time. So, all right. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye.